Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Rimworld playthrough. Um, I suppose we should get straight into this. I'm not a very good player, so I'm just going to start with the classic Rimworld experience like it says in the um, description of the code. So, right, storytellers. Um, I think I'm going to go to Phoebe because it says there's lots of time between disasters so I can be prepared and, and build up my actual um, you know, defences and stuff. So, uh, as I'm not the greatest at the game, I think I should just play base builder to start off with because, you know, I'm not—I wouldn't say I'm very good at defending. So I thought I'm just gonna strain this. Bertha, that's a lovely seed. I think I'm just gonna big Bertha. Any re ref any references? Comment that and generate. So for the world, I think I'm just gonna look for someone with hills and that's not too hot and not too. Uh, cold to be honest, so and definitely, um, yeah, I've got an all, all year round growing period, so that'll be you know easy food and don't have to worry about starving or anything like that, which would be great. So, around here should be okay. There's year round growing period, large hills, uh, temperate forest, and a variety of stones that seems to, to be great. So I'm just going to select that. Uh, okay, so we start off with the character creation screen, and you start off with three people. Um, I think I'm just going to click randomize a few times just to. Oh, this one. This guy is 35. He looks. He's a psychopath, so he's got no empathy. So. I suppose he's not the best at socialising, but he has, ele he has 11 social. That doesn't make any sense, does it? It's very contradicting. Steadfast. Uh, and jealous. Well, jealous isn't great. Uh, I think I'm going to randomise that again. Very good shooter. Very neurotic. I think I'll be here for a while, just constantly cycling through everyone. Yeah, I think that would be alright for the first one actually because he has a variety of skills, he has lots of flames next to the icons which means um, he learns at 100% speed, whereas if they don't it's yeah 33 if I'm right. Uh, which is good. I want someone that can construct and can mine because uh, Yaroslav, as his name is, um, he lacks that quite well. But now to put that actually. I need someone with. It's very good as well. Five cooking. He can't mine and he can't craft. So I definitely need someone that can mine. And. Yeah. That's good. So, all round is a pretty good character. She has plus two growing, and she has six growing and a flame next to it, which is good. She's heat tolerant, and she's slothful, which isn't great, but she's not going to be my constructor, so that shouldn't be too bad. And yeah, I think we're just going to get straight into this actually, because I've spent enough time selecting characters. Hopefully, I'll spawn near a shelter that has already been occupied by somebody but has now been abandoned as I can just easily move into that and claim it. So the three of you awake in your crypt of sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded star starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, so that's the premise of the game. So, grizzly bear right next to where we spawned, which is not great at all. So I'm going to pause that straight away, and I'm going to look for the best shooter. So I'm going to give Ketu the hunting rifle, I'm going to give Ian the pistol, and then Anna, well there's, really, there's no need for her to have a weapon because she can't be violent, but so yeah I can't give her the uh, weapon. I'm going to make everything unrestricted. 
so everyone can move things to stockpiles, which would be great. Uh, as I was saying, it's like, oh, there's one here, which no, that's not. Um, no, I think I'm just going to build here actually. So I think we're going to start off going to orders, chop wood, and chop wood in this area. Then I'm going to start constructing a small house. I think 9x9 nine nine should be adequate. And you need a wooden door, don't you? I'm going to use wood because, as you can see, wood is quite plentiful in the area. So I'm going to put a door here. I'm going to just put some floor in and then fill it with beds so they have somewhere to sleep for now. I know it's not great for them to sleep in the same room but we are just starting off so to risk I wanted to take at the moment. Um, I need to fill the room with other things as well such as a butcher's table so I can have food and then a uh, should have an electric stove or a fuel stove. Um, I don't know at the moment. I'm gonna make a stockpile close by. I've got a 7 by 7 Just so they'll start hauling. Where did they go? Uh, there they are. So then all three of them can start hauling things around in closer to our base. Some of here actually. There's lots of wood over here. That's great. I think I'm just going to use a fuel stove for now and get electricity put up later. It's an easier thing to start off. So, got a fuel stove in the corner of the room and, just for Pete's sake, put wooden stools next to the ceilings. Oh, I need a research bench as well, don't I? Yeah, that'd be it. where is that again? Uh, it's in production. It's in production. Okay, going to make an outer wood and put it in the top corner of the house. Did I have an animal anywhere? Um, I did. I had a cat. So doesn't can't be trained at all. Uh, I'm gonna make a sleeping spot for it at least. Make a wooden sleeping bed. Just up there. Okay. Um, I made that start running. There is a grizzly bear nearby, which I'm not looking to attacking at the moment. I want to try and avoid it at all costs, but I don't think that's going to happen at all. I don't know if they are hostile. Let's look them up. Okay, I'm going to remove this storage area, uh, stockpile, sorry, and I'm going to relocate it somewhere else nearby, just so it's out of the way a little bit. That looks okay, just down there, and then I'm going to make sure that food isn't allowed and no corpses as well. Or chunks, because I'll make them separately. Um, so, I'm going to build after the house and make a little section for... Uh, what's it called? Can't think of any itch. Little section off areas. Oh, there's a geyser in the way. That's going to be a problem. Let's build some rooms. As I was saying, I want to make sectioned off areas for the kitchen sort of area so that corpses and the food is easy, easily accessible. So, Keto is hauling all the things to the stockpile. I think, is everyone on haul? Okay, so Ian, actually, Ian can't haul, but he's hauling wood. That doesn't make sense. Oh well. Just make everyone a doctor. Uh, everyone can repair things. And they can clean the 
best person could research. Ian's going to research. Okay, so I'm going to section off the stockpile areas. Oh, you can't off, can you? Actually, scrap that idea. I'm just going to. Well, I'm going to keep the idea, but I'm going to lay it out differently, so it's easier to handle. Okay, three by five, and three by For, uh, so I'm going to clear all and just allow food, which is great. And then I'm going to clear all and just allow corpses, so easy access for people to grab the corpses, uh, the corpses and put them in the kitchen. So as we've got settled down, I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and hopefully. You'll be here for the next video. Bye. -bye.